Hi! In this episode I'm going to try to show you how you can create really organic shapes uh, regardless of the vector format you are editing. Um, it is possible to edit curves in QGIS uh, using, for instance, PostGIS databases. But uh, this method works for any vector data. So uh, let's get started. Let's switch to QGIS. I am using QGIS 3.2, uh, so that you know. Uh, and let's start by adding some backgrounds data, um, some base maps. I'm going to use OpenStreetMap. Uh, if you want to add all these base maps sim uh, quite simply with a Python script, I have a video for that. So uh, I can uh, leave a link in the description if you want to add these base maps as well. So let's just pick an area. That's fine. Uh, the area doesn't matter that much. Uh, for this I'm going to use uh, temporary scratch layers but you can use as I mentioned any vector data. Uh, and I will try to use a line And I will also create a polygon. And you see here it is possible to create curved polygons, but this will not be a curved polygon edit. So let's start with the polygon, I think. Uh, let's just create a simple shape here. Like that. Okay. Uh, this doesn't look organic at all, does it? So we need to change the symbology. Uh, and instead of a simple fill symbology, I'm going to use the geometry generator. And the geometry is in this variable, uh, dollar sign geometry. And I'm going to use a built in function called smooth and uh, as you see here it did do some things for uh, the geometry but if I want to increase the smoothness I can add a number here so the, the default is one uh, but let's do two or three mm, that's pretty organic uh, the higher number the more vertexes are created to smooth out the curve. So let's go for 5. Uh, if you have a lot of uh, objects this may not be a suitable way to edit but for uh, a smaller number of objects it works great. Uh, let's add a line as well. Not very organic, so let's change that simple line to a geometry generator that is smooth and set that as 5 as well. Like smooth. Why didn't that work? Oh, it should be a line string like that. And let's make it a bit thicker. Okay. Uh, this is only part of the uh, things I want to show you uh, because when you edit it, start with a polygon and edit it. Uh, when you hover over the uh, object, you see the normal edit tools and still you see the shape. So, for instance, if you want to edit the shape and add a point here, double click. And now I have a new point, put it there, 
you change the shape like this. And you can move entire lines. And of course this also works for the lines. Like this. Uh, the further apart the vertexes are, the smoother the curve. So if you want to create a really sharp point, uh, you move the points closer together like that and this way you can really create uh, any organic shape with a very limited number of vertexes so just remember to save your edits and uh, save all layers yes. And now whenever you uh, create uh, objects like this, it will have a very organic shape. Uh, if I remove the geometry generator, like that, you are going back to the original shape. But as mentioned, I have that in uh, my... Uh, I guess you can't see my dialog here, so I'll type it. Like that. So, oh, oh, too much. Like that. And whenever you create a new polygon it may look very inorganic but as soon as I uh, right click and uh, end the editing it will uh, be smoothed like that and if I'm not satisfied with the geometry I can fix that like this. So, a very simple way to uh, create organic shapes with a very limited number of uh, vertices. And uh, as I mentioned previously, it probably works best for few geometries uh, and not really suitable for a layer with thousands of polygons, for instance. But uh, if you want to create some small uh, organic shapes in QGIS 3, this is an excellent way to do it. So, uh, good luck and uh, see you next time!